Hey, what's up guys? It's JC and I'm back with a new video for you guys and today we're talking about switches. Uh, so I recently got this free switch from work and I will be resetting it for you guys. Uh, it took me some time to figure this out. I was making really, really dumb mistakes, but that's how it is, right? You make these dumb mistakes and by trial and error, you figure them out and that's how you piece things together. That's how you piece them together and you learn how to do things. So let's get right into it. So here I am connecting the RJ45 in the console port and then I am connecting that USB input into my computer. And we go through the, if you don't know what your COM port is, uh, whatever USB port you are using, then you do go into the device manager and you find what that COM port is and you enter that COM port into the PuTTY. Honestly, this USB to RJ45 is a lot better than the other version that I did carry around and I was using to connect to my switch and router. Um, it's, it's, it's a cheap cable, like I said, just it's, you're probably better off getting one of those, even though it is good, like I said, to have both options, just to have that, ex that experience with both uh, accessories, I'd say. So here we are. So first things first, we're going to open the device manager. And the reason we're doing this is because we are connecting to our switch via a console cable. If you don't know what a console cable is, I suggest you do search it up on Google. It's what allows you to make the connection to your device, uh, such as your switch, your routers, and all that good stuff, you know. Uh, we check the device managers because it does allow you to see what COM port you are using when you plug in that console cable. So I just showed you an example. I uh, reloaded the device manager just to show you that the COM port does show, does display for you and it's present. You can see what COM port to enter when you are using PuTTY, which is what allows you to access your interface, your device. So as you can see here, uh, this I got this switch from work and we will be resetting the switch it's already pre-configured since it was in use at work and now we are going to go through the process of resetting this device okay so we're looking at our switch here the new switch that i just got that we're resetting so what you do is you hold that mode button on the switch you unplug the switch from behind from its power and while you're still holding that uh, mode button and you plug it right back in and once you're holding it for about 15 seconds, or uh, you will find that the, um, the PuTTY interface will change and it will show you uh, this mode. It goes into ROM mode. And that's where you're able to reset your switch, uh, delete whatever configurations you do have on the switch, and a whole bunch of other stuff and more. So now you see that the switch is going through its normal uh, reloading state. It will reload and it will take some time depending on what kind of switch it is, a model, it, it does take longer than others. It can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple minutes. So just be patient, uh, nothing's wrong. It, just give it some time to reload and you'll see the, the interface on putty change, okay? So we are in the final steps of it reloading. The switch will go through its normal reloading state, like I said. Um, it'll take, like I said, a couple minutes. Just give it time. So now that we are connected to the, to the switch, we can see that in the PuTTY interface, uh, we are in that state where we can delete whatever configurations are pre-configure it on the device. So after getting in the flash directory, the DIR flash, um, we do have to delete three items. Uh, we will be deleting the config.txt, the vlan.dat, that's vlan.dat, and the private 
dash config.txt. This will allow us to uh, fully reset our switch and basically have a factory reset a device for us to use and configure as we please. So like I mentioned, we will be deleting the three mentioned uh, files, configuration files. Uh, we do have to add the delete, flash, and the mentioned uh, configuration file. Uh, if you do have to stop it, just stop the video, take a look at what I'm doing, uh, slow down the video, whatever it is, whatever it takes for you to get this done right, okay? So just go through the process of deleting all three configuration files, and after you are done deleting all three files, uh, just type reload, and this will reload your switch, and it should be reset for you. It will take a while for the switch to reload because it will load configuration, uh, from, you know, from basically from scratch. You'll, you'll be getting basically a new switch, a factory reset switch, and it will take a couple minutes for, for it to do that. So I will fast forward uh, this section of it, but it's all there on the screen if you do want to see how it looks like, see if you're doing, if yours looks the same or um, if that helps. But uh, I will fast forward. So now that we are in the final steps of the switch being reset, uh, you will see that the switch uh, will look basically the same as it did when we start when we started it up. I'll show you the version just to make sure that uh, yours does look the same and you are factory resetting your switch and you're following the right process. As you can see here, you can see the, the version of the switch. I have a 2960. You'll see that it is reset from, from the reload that we did go through, uh, but you're finally it's all reset like new you can you're free to do whatever configuration you like and there you have it Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll be posting a little more frequently uh, now that things are starting to kind of slow down over here at work and in general. Um, I am still studying for my CCNA and other certifications, so pay attention to that content that will soon be uploaded to the channel. I also have a new blog that you guys can go over and visit. I'll leave the link down below in the comment sec in the down below, you know, where you usually find all them links there. Uh, just head over to my blog, try to comment something, maybe something that you'd like to see. So, you know, comment and let me know. I'll try to post about that if I know anything, you know. Uh, if I if I don't, then I probably won't. But I'll try. So go over there, comment on my blog, share with your friends and family, other people in IT, all that good stuff. So peace out.